fans, welcome to Cooler Talk. I'm here uh, in front of the Diamondback Stadium at Chase Park. Uh, alongside me is uh, Natalie Necro. She's the daughter of Joe Necro and the niece of Phil Necro. Yes. That's right. Uh, Natalie, thanks so much for coming on the show. Sure, thank you. I have to ask right off the bat, what, what was it like growing up uh, with your dad being who he is, a major league pitcher? Because automatically I think, you know, I can just imagine it's like you go to school and the teacher's like your dad because he pitched the day before. Can you talk about what that was like? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny, I get asked that a lot. And to me, growing up in the lifestyle that I did was different than anybody else because that's just what I was used to. You know, I mean, from the time that I was born, my dad was pitching. So I pretty much grew up in a baseball field. And you know, it wasn't out of the ordinary for each day, my brother and I to go early with my dad and run around the Astrodome at that time because I was time with the Astros. And when it came game time, you know, we knew that we had to be in the seats and pay attention to the game, and, and that was it. And up until I was in junior high, we actually traveled with the team, and my brother and I both had um, a private teacher that went with us. Oh, and then okay. when I got into seventh grade, it was really important that I got involved with extracurricular activities. I wanted to cheer, and I wanted to dance, and my brother was playing baseball so much. So we decided that we would just go to uh, the, wherever my dad was playing during the summer. So I didn't really have a typical uh, childhood. As far typical as childhood was growing concerned. up, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. And so, how did you how did you get involved with the foundation, and what made you get involved with your uh, foundation? When my father passed away in 2006, uh, we were told that it was because of a brain aneurysm, and at that time, I didn't even know what one was. And so, when we left the hospital, I mean, my dad's death was very, very sudden and very unexpected. And so, when we left the hospital, I said, I want to do, I want to find out everything that I can about this, I call it an enemy, that killed my father. And so I just kind of dove into research and started reading a bunch of medical journals and trying to find out what an aneurysm was and how common they were. And I realized that they're a lot more prevalent than people realize. It's one in 15 people. And I said, here's this condition that is affecting you know, thousands and thousands of people every single year, but it's 100% treatable. So I was like, I have to do something to, to get the awareness out and to let people know that here's this you know, silent killer that can take your life in an instant, but it's something that is 100% treatable. So I started, decided to start the foundation, and, and our mission is to solely support research, treatment, and awareness. And it's just about getting the word out to people, letting them know what kind of symptoms to look for, and telling them the importance of getting scanned for an aneurysm, and then you know the warning signs to look for, and just how important it is to uh, to take really good care of yourself. All right, Natalie, and final question. Um, as you know, I'm on the road trip. I'm going to all the stadiums. Um, I have to ask you, are you a baseball, do you like the Diamondbacks? Are you a baseball fan? Is there a particular team that you root for? Because, I mean, I know your dad, he's kind of played for a bunch of different teams. I know Phil played for, for the Braves. Who's, who's your team and why? Well, I would be crazy to say that I don't love baseball. I mean, who doesn't? It's America's favorite pastime. But I, I choose to really root for the teams that my dad played for. I have a you know special place in my heart for the teams that he had such great memories with. You know, I will always treasure our time with the Astros. And then, of course, you know, we won the World Series when he was with the Twins. Uh, but there were seven teams that he played for throughout his career. So I, I love them all. But you know what? I just love a good game. So yeah. I love two teams that are going to go out and battle it on the field and may the best team win.